In this problem, we're going to add integers, so I'm going to represent both add-ins in the problem with blocks. So for example, the number 360, since there's a 3 in the hundreds place, I will represent that with three flats, representing three objects that represent 100 units. The 6 in the tens place will give me six rods. I'm just going to use straight lines to represent a rod. Remember, each rod has 10 units in it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rods, and there are no units here. We are to add that to 207, which would have two flats, representing the two in the hundreds place. We'd have zero rods, so I won't draw any of those, but we'd have seven units. I'm going to use little dots to represent units. So there's seven dots. Because I am to add them together and they have the same sign, there's nothing to do here besides just add up the total what you have. Since I have less than 10 units, less than 10 rods, and less than 10 flats, there's no regrouping that needs to be done. So to represent this with the algorithm, I'm going to write the problem down. 360 plus goes over here, 207. We typically start with the ones place and we had seven units here and zero units here. So taking seven and adding zero, since adding zero doesn't change anything, you're left with seven units. Then we had six rods that was shown here, and we add that to the zero rods that we put down here. Well, adding zero doesn't change anything, so you'd have six rods, or you'd have six in the tens place. And then finally, we had the three flats here and the two flats here which add up to be one, two, three, four, five. So you have five here. So notice there was no regrouping over here, so there was no regrouping necessary over here. Seven plus zero simply gave us seven, six plus zero is six, and three plus two turns out to be five. So the answer is 567. Here we are adding two integers that have different signs. This integer is positive, this integer is negative. When adding two numbers with different signs, step one is to find the absolute value of the numbers. The absolute value of 360 is 360. The absolute value of negative 207 would be 207. Step two is to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, meaning taking the number that was bigger and subtracting off the smaller one after you took the absolute value. So this is bigger and this one's smaller. So I now need to take this and subtract off that, which I will do using blocks. Since there's a three in the hundreds place, I'm gonna use three flats to represent the number 300. I'll use six rods to represent the six in the tens place. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we are to subtract off 207. So I need to take away 200. Since there's a two in the hundreds place, that'll subtract off two of the flats representing the number 200, so those are gone. I need to take away none of the rods, but this says I have to take seven of the units away, and we don't have any units because there was a zero in the ones place. We started with three flats, six rods, and zero units. Since I have zero units to work with, and I have to subtract off seven, I'm going to have to decompose things so that I take away one of the rods, so that'll be gone and I'm going to regroup it, or you can think of it as you're exchanging it for 10, because each rod has 10 units, you're exchanging it for 10 units. So let me draw 10 units here. So again, I exchanged a rod, which is 10 units, for 10 dots, and I'm using dots just to represent a unit. So now, recap, I took away two of the flats, I am to take away zero of the rods, but now I am to take away seven units, and now I can since I made this exchange. So taking away seven of the units, that would be these three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to take these away again, and then one more. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I'm taking away. So what's left is one flat, which would be a one in the hundreds place, one, two, three, four, five rods, which would be a five in the tens place, and one, two, three units would be a three in the ones place. My final answer would be found by keeping the original sign of the number with the larger absolute value. 360 was the larger in absolute value, and its sign was originally positive, so my answer will be positive. 
So my answer is 153. To represent this using an algorithm, we would write 360, and we are to take away 207. To do this, we'd have to take 0 and subtract off 7. Well, this is the same problem we had before when we had 0 units, and we were to take away 7 of things we didn't have. So we had to exchange 1 rod into 10 units. You do this using the algorithm by taking the 6, because there was originally 6 rods, and taking one away, making it a 5, representing that when we took the one rod away, there were 5 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But what that did is we had one less rod, but we gained 10 units. So we're going to take the fact that we had 0 and turn it into a 10 by writing a 1 there. And now we have a 10 here. So we had 10 units, and we took away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 10 subtract 7 leaves us the remaining 3. Then we argued that we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 flats left. That would be the same as taking 5 and subtracting off nothing. You'd have 5. Then, since we started with 3 flats and took 2 away, we were left with 1. The algorithm would have you taking 3 and subtracting off 2, leaving you with 1. And the algorithm gives you the same answer, 153, as you got when you used blocks to do the problem. In this problem, we're adding two integers using the chip model, and we have a situation where both of the numbers we're adding are negative, so they have the same sign. To add numbers with the same sign, you add the absolute values of the numbers, and in the end, you keep the common sign of the numbers in your final answer. So the absolute value of negative 360 is 360. The absolute value of negative 207 is positive 207. So we will start by adding the absolute values of the numbers. And then at the very end, we'll keep the common sign of negative. So my final answer will be some negative number. So to represent this with blocks, the 360, since there's a 3 in the hundreds place, I would draw 3 flats. Because there's a 6 in the tens place, I would draw 6 rods. Because there's 0 in the 1's place, I would draw 0 units. In the next number, we have 2 in the 100's place, giving me 2 flats. 0 in the 10's place, giving me 0 rods. But then we have 7 in the 1's place, meaning I have 7 units. For lack of a better symbol, I'm just going to use dots to represent my 7 units. Now I am to add the absolute values of them together. Since I have less than 10 flats, less than 10 rods, and less than 10 units, there'll be no regrouping necessary. I can simply count the number of flats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there'll be a 5 in the hundreds place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rods. So there'll be a 6 in the tens place. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. So there'll be a 7 in the units place, or the ones place. Don't forget at the end, that your final answer is found by keeping the common sign of the numbers. Since they both had a negative sign, your final answer will have a negative. So the answer is negative 567. To represent this using the algorithm, you could do this by writing 360. The plus would go here, then 207. We would add them together, first in the ones place, 0 and 7 is the same as considering that we had 7 units here and nothing to add it to up here, so that gave us a 7. 6 plus 0 in the tens place corresponds to the fact that we had 6 rods here in the first number and no rods in the second number because of the 0 in the tens place. So 6 rods and 0 rods makes 6 in the tens place. Finally, because there was 3 flats here and 2 flats here, you're adding 3 and 2 in the hundreds place, and when we added them up, we got 5 flats. So you get the number 567. It would be your job to know now, since the real question is negative 360, and we are adding a negative 207, that when you're done with the addition, which gave us 567, you keep the signs that's common to both the original integers, which was a negative. So my final answer is negative 567, whether you use the block, model to do the addition or you use the algorithm to do the addition.